What's going on guys? Now, something pretty different here on Motorman, it's a reaction video and yeah, there's the Honda CRF450L, a bike that is very interesting for pretty much anyone that cares about dual sport or enduro. I found this video over on Facebook, I'll put it in the description if you want to check the video out yourself. Very interesting video from Honda Canada on the CRF450L. A promotional video, my friend was telling me all about it, so I've just sourced the video right here. And I thought I'd do a reaction thing to it because there's been a lot of controversy regarding its specs and everything else because it's a bike that's been very anticipated. But without any further delay, let's get ahead and react to this video. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. One, two, and three. This is the bike so many have been waiting for. The one serious riders have dreamed about. A true street legal dirt bike that offers the reliability and power of Honda's best off-road machines. Introducing okay. the new 2019 CRF 450L. Oh man, they made it look nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's a nice looking bike, man. I do love the look of it and that black kind of sure, subframe. I've seen dual sport bikes before, but this is something much, much more. A true trail to trail machine. Okay. Using the CRF 450R motocrosser as a proper base, CRF 450R a engine. has a tough, lightweight chassis. Lightweight powered chassis. by an engine that delivers strong, usable power okay. right from the bottom. Usable power, that's this, what you need, man. The quality and durability found on every Honda offers maximum enjoyment for the yeah. off road rider. Spending more time on. Because we need it to be reliable, right? They're talking about durability, they're talking about usability for enduro riding. This is important, this is big, man. Let's see what they're gonna say. And less time in the shop. The CRF 450L is less also time fully in the shop, street you hear that? and street ready. Fully street Being ready. Light is important in many areas of riding. Mm. However, having weight in the right places makes all the difference. Moving as much weight Very as true. possible down keeps the center of gravity low on the CRF 450L. Helping the rider this navigate the toughest sick, man. I'm not gonna lie. A 449cc Unicam engine, specifically tailored for trail-to-trail -trail riding, powers this bike. Truly noticeable power and torque from the bottom up allows the rider to experience all of the rear wheel grip possible, no matter what the terrain. So I mean, it all sounds good. It all sounds good. It all sounds good. We've got this like kind of like low centered gravity kind of reliable fully plateable like not an enduro bike with a plate but like a proper dedicated bike this is ticking all the boxes so far man the 450l utilizes an all-new piston design with three rings okay. instead of two for increased durability yeah, combining the best for single and double overhead cam designs yeah. allows for a high compression ratio of 12.0 to 1. That's Altogether, good. That's this good. compact Unicam engine, along with Honda's famous center of mass engineering, keeps the center of gravity low for a lighter feel and better handling. I'm not gonna lie, man, the 250L, they made a freaking good bike, man. If you haven't seen some of my videos on it, you wanna wanna check that out. But this 450L, man, it's ticking all the boxes. It's ticking all the boxes. Let's see what he's gonna say. A newly revised, dedicated valve timing. Come on, man. A broader, smoother spread of power and torque. Essential in technical off-road riding. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep pausing this. But, brother, show me the numbers, man. The wide ratio six-speed transmission is ready for a variety. Six-speed transmission is the first number. There's a bit of specs for you right there. Terrains, a low gear perfect for tight, slow situations, and a top gear that's tall enough for riding on the highway to get you to your next trail. That all sounds perfect. CRF450L's special clutch design enables light lever pulls, and the primary damper mechanism with friction springs. Man, this is just getting to the point, yeah. Where everything sounds good. But a smooth run. But talk, talk with some specs, has man. been redesigned to have more inertia than the 450R to smooth out the power and lower RPMs for flexible power delivery in technical terrain. Okay. Large capacity dual radiators offer high heat exchange. Man, no one care about the radiators, man, bro. Come on, man. It's a 450. It needs to have the right radiators. That's radiators, man. We want to know about specs. Temperature. Keeping your engine running cool Keeping even in the harshest conditions. Smooth. The coolant oh. recovery tank is strategically located in front of the engine for improved center of mass. The twin spar aluminum frame is both light Come and on. stiff, providing the basis. You literally have the bike in pieces. Look at this. The bike is stripped so you can see everything. They're telling me about titanium fuel tanks. Yeah? Just like I've read online. And you're not gonna like both talk specs and, and performance, man. Come on man, give me some numbers, please, please. There's been enough controversy on this already. Excellent handling. Up front, the 49mm show of forks. 49 mm foot shock bro. Right. Just tell me what has it got 49 horsepower? Because that's what I want to know. Settings and link ratio for off-road riding. 
Allowing me to set the it's not a cheap bike, man. We need to know if this thing is pumping out serious horses or not, man. But with better fade resistance thanks to thicker discs and a larger capacity reservoir. Thicker discs. Both the front and rear sprockets are made with durable steel Come material on, man. and feature a damper system for smooth... Show me the numbers! At first glance, some may have a hard time spotting the differences between Honda factory MX bikes and the new 450L. The L looks like Honda Motocross... Is it just me or did he just say it's hard to spot the difference between the 450L in the kind of enduro look it has and, and the proper race bikes? That's what he just said, right? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, it looks the business, yeah? But I think everyone will know the difference if the power's half. Do you know what I mean? Just show me some numbers, man. Give me some specs. Let's get down to it. Nitty gritty. Stop sugarcoating. Come on. It's because it's derived from them. Featuring durable in-mold graphics that are resistant to peeling and black rental handlebar and red pad. Another important <laughs> resistance to peeling graphics. I'm telling you right now, yeah, Honda. This the last thing I care about is how peel resistant the decals and the stickers are on this bike. And the fact it's got black rental bars. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice looking, but I, I bruv. <sighs> Are we talking 20 something horsepower or are we talking 40 something horsepower? Friendly feature is the inclusion of a cutoff valve in the fuel tank cap to prevent fuel from flowing out if the bike ends up on its side. Yeah, like every this bike in motocross has had forever. All titanium tank is perfect for those long range rides. Mm -hmm. Riding time is maximized with the lightweight compact LED lighting system. Okay. The yeah, man, the, the headlight, or the, trail the indicators, everything. Projection it's a nice looking bike. Area. The LED turn signals use flexible mounts for added durability. Okay. Around the back, a light, okay. compact, and rigid. It's LED a proper nice looking bike. I'm not gonna lie. Fender. It's a very All nice looking bike. the lighting and electrical components are powered by a lightweight, high-capacity lithium-ion battery. Okay. Both front and rear. Thing is, it's expensive, man. So. DOT tires, you know. For both off-road traction and on-road lifespan and are complemented with these sharp looking black DID rims. Okay. So when the trails are calling, the uh -huh. all new CRF 450L answers, expanding your off-road possibilities by giving you access to the best riding trails, even when that means connecting to them with asphalt roads. Okay. With the CRF 450L, yeah. you truly get the best of both. My man, don't get me wrong, I love the concept the of this. Visit your local Honda motorcycle but come on man, show, show, show me some... Is that it? Is that it? Bro! Honda.ca, that's the end of the video, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Are you, are you mad? Are you mad? Oh. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry, yeah, but. Oh. Uh, what, what the f did I just watch, man? I learned about decals that don't peel off. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's exactly what I wanted to know. Black rainfall bars. LED lighting, they're telling me about LED lighting like I can't see that but they're not gonna give me any torque specs I didn't, I don't think I heard them say weight but I mean the weight is out right if you look at the specs online and stuff you can see the weight but like what, that was just a pointless video man to be honest that was pretty pointless video um, if you want to check out the video, obviously, link in the description to check the whole thing out. This is like just my reaction, initial reaction on this bike and on the news about this bike. It's a bike I think Honda's done a really good idea, you know, trying to, you know, making it. But I don't know why, man. Like Honda's kind of do it, does this a little bit recently, man. Just just show the specs, man. Let the bike speak with specs. I don't even, I'll 100% say, man, I'm not even a, a guy that wants to have 50 horsepower off-road. It's not, that's not me, man. But um, it looks good anyway, man. Like you've got a good spec bike, but of course they just leave out the important specs, don't they? Like it's just, ah, oh, it's retarded. It's actually retarded. It's actually retarded, man. Ah, uh, bruv. It's, it, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I, I feel like, I feel like I just had like a solid five minutes of info rammed at me, yet, like. <sighs> I didn't learn anything. Like, I'm gonna kinda like skim through the video here a little bit. Just like, uh, honestly though, like. Riding. The wide ratio six speed transmission yeah, like, is ready for a They're telling you about the kind of shit that's like, gear, no shit type shit. And a top gear that's tall enough for riding on the high. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, top gear is tall enough. Low gear that's, you know, usable for the trails. 
Man, just bro, just, they're just, they're like dancing around it, man. They're dancing around what you really need to know. And, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you guys would know that there's been a lot of talk about the horsepower. There was articles at the beginning of, of this uh, 450L release where they were saying 25 horsepower. I mean, don't get me wrong, I never thought it would be 25 horsepower. And I don't think it is 25 horsepower. I think that's been rectified. But I think people have kind of been saying that's not right that's, and stuff, but like, why can't Honda just clearly say in a promotional video like this that the, the expected horsepower numbers, man? Like, it's, it's, you can see the whole narrative of this whole video is how it's similar to the motocross bikes, but how it can get you to the trails, do the trails and go home and all that crap. But can you just tell us what we need to know? Like, everyone that's gonna watch this video, everyone, genuinely wants to know the actual performance it's gonna put out because once you know the torque once you know the weight once you know the horsepower you kind of know what you're dealing with we know it's got six gears you don't even have to tell us it's got six gears every bike in 2018 has six gears oh my god the only bike that doesn't have six gears in 2018 is a dr z all right me oh. I'm just gonna leave it as that anyway guys. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of reaction video, something different here on Motorman. Remember, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe or maybe I'll do more videos like this. If you liked it, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know what you think because this is definitely a different type of video to what I normally do here on Motorman. But it's an interesting bike and I know a lot of people care about it and I found this video, I thought, okay, perfect. Like, man, when my, t my, mom, when my mate was telling me about this video, I was like, yo, okay, I'm definitely gonna like do a video on this because I just, this is a hot topic right now. So yeah, leave a comment below if you like this video. And um, if you want me to do any more videos like this, tell me below as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Like, Honda, come on, come on. I believe in you. 40 second horsepower, please, please, come on. Just maybe Honda, in fact, maybe Honda, you will see this video and be like, oh, Mo man, he wants to know the specs, bang.